Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Town channel. My name is John Summerman, and as many of you know, I had the opportunity to visit Cul-de-Sac in Tempe, Arizona in December. The very first thing that I did when I arrived was meet up with Alexa Stowe for a quick tour of the property. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and so this is our pod building, okay. or one of the pods. Okay. Uh, this is kind of what cul-de-sac is, what I like to say, we're known for, and like really get to those sure. aha moments when you walk in. Now, how long have you worked here? I've been here for two years. Wow, yep. fancy. So you've watched it literally come up <laughs> out of the ground. Yep. When I yeah. was, first started working here, it was just like a couple of pegs marking where Cosina and she was supposed to go, <laughs> a construction trailer, and I was like, I'm all about it. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I started as an intern in November of 2021. Yeah. And I moved here in January of 2022 and started full time. Fabulous. A blast Fabulous. ever since. And so Yay. this is kind of like the oh wow moment, I say, of the pods is when you walk in and you see this courtyard. One of cul-de-sac's main philosophies is community and how can we bring community together. Right. And so we've been really dedicated to creating spaces where community can blossom and uh, people can make new relationships. And so right. the pod courtyards is just one version of that. So all of the pods have primary and secondary tertiary courtyards right. that have dining room tables, um, fire pits, water features, grills. And then we also like to think of this kind of as an ever evolving space. So right. as the community grows, if they come together and they're like, hey, you want to play shuffleboard? Yeah. You'd be more than happy to put something like that in. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Now you have to introduce yourself too, since you're on camera. How are you doing? I'm Rob Maloney. <laughs> very good, Rob. Thank you. Awesome. Dude. Thanks for, for documenting for uh, us yeah, talking too. Very meta, right? <laughs> yes. Capturing of the capturing. So. Hey, that's very YouTube too. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Very cool. Okay, continue. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Um, so I'll show you one of our okay. model units. Okay. So something that has been kind of like an unexpected but delightful plot twist mm -hmm. is how attached to the door colors people have been. Uh, so that was just an okay. aesthetic, aesthetic choice chosen yeah. from colors in the mural. Yeah. Um, but when we go to tour people, they see all the different colors and they're like, I want a pink door. No, <laughs> I want a green door. And so it's funny to see how much that influences um, where people choose they want to live. Right. And so this is one of our model units, one of our most popular floor plans, the Agave. This is a one bedroom. Very nice. Fantastic. You're almost getting kind of like a yeah. listing tour here. <laughs> yeah, might as well. And then you'll notice some of these doors have an S behind them. So okay. those are storage units. Okay. And that's a part of our Extend Your Home On Demand program. So like I said, we're all about creating places where a community can foster. And so the hub building and the market building have our most unique floor plans. Okay. Uh, because there are no other buildings in the whole community like them. And they're mixed use, so there's retail on the bottom mm -hmm. and residential on top. Ah, uh, okay. And then so with Open Path, you just wave to open. Okay. If you have the Bluetooth enabled on your phone. Okay, I think I do. So that's the hub building. Okay. There's also another entrance to the building around the front. Okay. If you come in through there. Okay. This is our restaurant, because you know, she was. Right. And in between, this is Electric Avenue. So ah. you'll probably see a lot of electric bikes all yeah. around the site. Yeah. Um, as you may know, the first 200 residents get a free electric bike when okay. they move in. Okay. Um, so that's why you'll see a ton of them uh, hiked yeah. alongside you know, yeah. all of the residents' other bikes. Yeah. And so that's part of our mobility benefits program. So okay. everyone also gets a free Valley Metro Platinum Pass, which okay. is unlimited rides on the light rail that's right steps there. away yeah. Yeah. and can take you to the airport. Yep. And that's actually a policy change that cul-de-sac made previously. It was only offered to ASU faculty and students and okay. big employers. Right. Um, and so we're the first multifamily developer that has been able to offer it to our residents. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. We love that. Yeah. Um, we also have partnerships with Lyft okay. and Waymo and they have pickup drop-off zones right in front of the hub building. Okay. Um, and then we also have a car share program. So you'll see some electric vehicles and chargers in the okay. back end of the parking lot. Right. Um, and so residents can rent those for a couple of hours or a day. Yeah. You know, if you want to take a day trip to Sedona yeah. um, or flat staff, they can take those cars. And a market. Yes. So this is our grocery store. Sheep yeah. Our urban market. Yeah. Um, you'll see there's actually some snacks in your room from there. Okay. Um, but Vikram Dillon is the owner here. Also amazing. Fantastic. Um, but they have three dollar burritos in the morning. Okay. Highly recommend if you're a breakfast burrito type person. I am totally. Oh, love that. Are you that. kidding? I'm I'm from Austin, of course. Oh, that totally makes sense. Yeah, so breakfast definitely... burritos and breakfast tacos. It's like the thing. Then you should definitely come in in the morning. And wow. Yeah. Up. I actually can introduce you to Vic if you're. Sure. Interested. Yeah.
My name is Vic. I am the owner operator of this beautiful store called Street Corner Urban Market at Cold Sack. So, since I'll be staying here for a few days, um, what do you recommend? I recommend trying out our vegan product. We have a lot okay. of good vegan selections. Okay. We have a lot of, uh, I would say, during the daytime, our breakfast burritos are a big hit. $3 yeah. breakfast burritos, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, they're a big hit here, so yeah, definitely yeah. recommend that. And then, yeah, and also for lunch, yeah, our yeah. pesto and spinach pizza is a big hit as well. So definitely try our fresh food. Uh, we do have a lot of cool local beverages, yeah, yeah. local snacks, uh, get a little taste of tempeh. I'm gonna gain weight here, aren't I? No, we all have to There's no hot dogs or nachos or roller grills here. It's all fresh made to order. But it all so. sounds good. <laughs> Great, we have a lot of cool products in here, yeah. Just Fantastic. Shop, just, I would just take your time and just walk aisle by aisle and see what you like. I'm gonna have a blast. Yes. I'm gonna have a blast. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, well, thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Yes. I like to show off a lot of the artwork around here. Okay. I like to say that Cold Sack Tempe kind of doubles as a walkable art gallery. Okay. And so you'll see that. We have like our transformers painted, oh, the yeah. trash compactor doors. This mural, actually, I love the story of this. The yeah. artist Frank Gonzalez grew up across the street from Cold Sack Tempe right uh, here. Oh wow! And when he was asked to conceptualize this mural, he was like, "I really want to bring a piece of home to mm -hmm. Cold Sack." And so this plant grew outside of his window when he was growing up, and so he painted it on the side of Christina she was. And since it is right there when you come in, it's kind of been like a honing beacon for yeah. people letting them know that this is cul-de-sac yeah fantastic and so we've taken a lot of the things that people might try to hide and made them beautiful with the artwork yeah yeah and then absolutely. over here in the corner of the parking lot that's where you'll see the car share and the electric chargers okay that i mentioned earlier and so this is a great view of the pods so this back one is the next pod opening in February. You also find on all of the artworks these plaques, and so if you ever want to read oh, yeah. more about the artists, like I said, they're all local to Tempe, so it's yeah. cool to get to know the vision behind every single one. Yeah. Okay, so that was our leasing office. Mm -hmm. saying, office. And you were saying these are the micro micro retailers. Micro um, retailers. And so these are studio so, apartments. Okay. They're about five hundred to six hundred square feet. Okay. And people can either live in them, work mm -hmm. in them, or do both. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first look tour uh, led by Alexa Still. Thank you so much, Alexa. I really appreciate it. And folks, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and share it with a friend. And up next is going to be my on-bike interview with the founder of cul de Ryan Johnson. So until then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.